Welcome to another episode. We've got a wine today that I'm actually pretty excited about. We've had a few misses here in the last uh, couple reviews, but this is the Orzada by Old Fiel um, 2018 Carignan. It's a varietal Carignan from the Male Valley in Chile. Um, and for those of you who may not know, Carignan in Chile is a thing, um, particularly in the Male Valley where um, it started about a decade ago that um, some of the smaller producers um, created a designation called Vigno, V-I-G-N-O, um, that was a 100% dry farmed old vine Carignan, that's what it had to be in order to say Vigno on the label, um, from the Malle Valley. And these wines have gotten some renown and have gotten prices not uh, commensurate with how good they are, but th the prices have gone up. Um, this at about 20 bucks is a good entree to uh, Carignan varietal wines um, in the Malle Valley. And I just, I love the Vigno wines. I love Carignan and Chile. And if it had been up to me, they would have, if they needed a grape uh, variety that started with the letter C to make their Malbec, they would have gone with uh, Carignan rather than Carmenere which I detest. Um, so this has a sort of very rich, sort of purpley color. Um, yeah, pretty pretty dark in a glass. Um, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, so this has got some explosive spice and wood. Um, it's 15% alcohol in the label, but Carignan tends to produce a lot of alcohol when it gets ripe um, and have a lot of structure, but this has um, some very sort of purple fruits a little twist of wood on the nose um, and a very interesting uh, uh, substitute for the Argentinian Malbec drinker uh, to throw them a curveball and say, hey, try something from Chile. Um, this is going to be big, uh, plush, ripe and structured, I think, more structured in, in, in a lot of cases, more so than Argentinian Malbec. So let's see um, what this is like on the palate. So this wine is big, really big and structured. Um, it carries through with some wood uh, on the palate as well. It's a 2018, so it's a pretty young wine. Um, but some really fine grain tannins here. Um, this just calls out for um, meat. So you could do a braise or grilled steak, something like this. Um, but this is a terrific, terrific substitute for somebody who's drinking $20 Malbec. Um, I, I really like uh, Carignan and Chile. There's a lot of it. Um, a lot of it is old vine Carignan, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, I, I wouldn't pin this as 15% alcohol on the nose or on the palate. Um, but it's big in every sense. It's big enough in terms of its structure, it's big enough in terms of its tan, and it's big enough in terms of its fruit um, that it doesn't just come out with a, a big waft of alcohol. Um, I like this wine a lot. Um, a little bit of sort of sweet spice, a little bit of almost nutmeg or allspice. Um, and I don't know whether that's more attributable to the wood or to the fruit. Um, I like this wine a lot. I'm 91 points on this wine and at 20 bucks um, for funky varietal um, from a very rural, rustic region in Chile. Um, I think this is a strong buy. The uh, Orzada by Old Fiel, 2018 Carignan from the Maule Valley in Chile. Finally, we've broken out of our slump, uh, 91 points and a strong buy on this wine.